Hey, what's up there, pain the longers? I thought we'd take a minute and I'd show you how to mix for doing line work. Now, that's the most important part for me. And uh, I've got a couple of friends who do uh, digital comics and stuff like that, and they want to transition from either doing line work or digital comics or more sketch work, and they want to transition to painting. And this is a good tutorial for that. But the, the biggest problem they run into is doing the line work because they, they start laying the paint down and it just, just something happens, it just doesn't go right. And uh, a good workaround for that is uh, mixing water with your paint just right so that you can make clean lines. And when you start your line, you won't run out of paint as quick as you normally would if you just do the paint right out of the bottom. I'd say mix a little bit of water at a time and usually to mix my paint I'll just use the back of a brush right, okay clean it off there back of that okay, I'll show you in a second what we're looking for I know this is way off from the camera, but I'll explain what we're going for. There you go, that's just about right. All right, here's what I'm going for. When I dip my liner brush in there, okay, here's my rule of thumb. See how it's staying on there for a minute? Hopefully you can see that. It's staying on. If I shake it, see a little paint fell off. I don't know if you can see that. It stays on. And if I shake it a little bit, see that? It came off. That's the perfect consistency. You ask me. If you add too much and it just falls right off, you've gone too far. And if you shake it all day and it don't come off, then uh, you need to add more water. But I got it just right there. See that? It's dripping off. Of course, you don't want that drip coming off of it when you actually start painting. You know, but look at this. See that? You just paint all day with it. Almost. That's usually the major hang up when it comes to doing uh, cartoony type paintings. I may just do black. I may just do black for this piece. Not sure yet. We'll see when we get into it. I, 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 I generally don't like to use just black. Like if say if I line the blue, I like to line it with a darker blue red darker red whatever you know something like that or if even i'm lining the gray maybe a dark blue something you know darker blue than the, the darker value than the gray is something more interesting something looks like old school cartoon cells you know but we'll get into that later i just wanted to show you how to mix uh, for doing line work instead of just doing the voiceover but uh that's probably what i'm about to get into next is some more voiceover work so uh, so thanks for giving me a minute and back to it. Back, 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 back to it. Back, 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 Someone once said, a line is a dot that went for a walk. So let's take our many dots on many walks. You know, I've already been posting this on various social media, but I will say it again. 
I really am enjoying doing this both for you and myself. This feels like me, like you can't imagine. If you want to know a lot about me, just consider me leading in a heartfelt and dreamy space song that I carefully wrote just for this episode with a fart montage. I am in love with it all, from the sweeping of the floor to writing, lighting, painting, shooting, editing, and soundtrack. A total joy. By the way, if you enjoy the tune, Annie, if you want to add it to your relaxing music library, I will go ahead and throw it on SoundCloud for a free download. Knock yourself out, paint of loggers. I'll put the link in the description. There's not much to say about this part. You can see pretty much all I'm doing here. My advice is for lining, lay your canvas flat and utilize moving the canvas around so you can keep your hand in the drawing position that best suits you. My strength is in having my right palm down and curving in to out or south to northeast. Always remember to blast your lines with a hairdryer once in a while to dry them so that you don't accidentally catch the paint with your palm. I've made this mistake on 98% of the paintings I've done so far. No big deal. You just fix it with paint. Somehow I didn't catch it on this paint. Be confident in your strokes, paint alongers. And if you mess up, keep going for goodness sakes. Now I gotta go, paint alongers. Don't be sad. I'll be back soon. Remember the words of our friend Neil Patrick Harris. When I'm sad, I stop being sad and be awesome instead. <laughs>